What's up everybody? How you doing? Today I'm going to bring you a really fun lesson. Uh, this is something I use all the time. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to record yourself making beats with your mouth and make it go into Ableton really fast. This is an incredibly fast way to make drum tracks with fills and all the other things that you would normally sit there with your mouse or even with your pad controller and try to play when really you could just probably use your mouth and be like a lot faster. Um, it's an acquired skill sort of to figure out how it works, but let me go ahead and show you how it works and then maybe you can incorporate it into your workflow. So uh, I just wanted to make a bunch of drum tracks real quick. As you can see, I've got some uh, audio laid out here. And I've got three parts I need to make drum tracks to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to record myself making a mouth beat and we'll start there. So here we go. This is the source material, right? So I'm going to record myself beatboxing. So here's the source material. Let's take a listen. So just some uh, raw modular tracks there. Let's just go ahead and uh, get this going. Okay, so <laughs> I know I'm not the best mouth beat person, um, but I've kind of developed my own uh, little beatboxing, or you could call it fart boxing, <laughs> uh, style here, and it's worked out really well for me. I kind of uh, figured out how to voice my my uh, my tracks to make Ableton really recognize it well. Now, this is something that uh, you're going to learn over time, and uh, different sounds uh, react different ways. But essentially, you want to have a wave that looks kind of like this. You got these really strong. Uh, differentiated transients. You see how there's silence between them? That's kind of what you're going for. So, what first I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to this. It's pretty good, but something that uh, you can do, which is really exciting, uh, click on your top bar, so you select all of the, the transients, these this blue line. If you just hit Command U, boom, you can, <laughs> you can even quantize audio. How crazy is that? So, we're just going to play this. Now, as you can tell, my uh, my beat there is right on beat. So the next thing, here's where all the magic happens. All you need to do is right click on the audio, okay? Then you just go down to convert drums to new MIDI track. Boom. Now watch this. This is some voodoo magic. You ready? Now we have this MIDI track that's populated with some of these hits. Looks like we've got hi-hats, snare, and kick. Um, let's just go ahead and listen to this without my original track. I mean, is that crazy or what? <laughs> I mean, now it's always going to use the same stupid uh, uh, kind of 8080 kit. It's calling it a 606 kit, but it's always going to use that same kit. So what I have done, just for, for simplicity and time's sake, is I went in here and I replaced some of these samples with samples that I wanted to use. And that's basically what you're doing. You get this MIDI information, and as you can see, it's got all this juicy velocity information, all kinds of stuff to make it sound dynamic and real and humanized. And then you just take, I'm just gonna take this and drag this down to this other MIDI slot. And now, as you can see, I gloriously have a different loop with samples that I wanted to use. Uh. And <laughs> if you really wanna have fun, you can turn on your original loop and add some effects to it to make it kind of like an extra layer. Uh, you already have it quantized, so you know that's going to be right. So uh, maybe we'll use like a Redux or something, and we'll just downsample it a little bit. Let's just take a listen. Oh, cool. So this is the original loop. <laughs> and then this is with the downsample. Okay, so I'm going to turn it all the way down, play the other loop, bring it in. That's like a little extra layer, whatever. All right, so here's the next part, okay? Totally different beat. I'm gonna run you through the same process again. Now remember, every time you do this, it's gonna make a new track with these MIDI drums. So, you know, if you need to do this multiple times, just delete that track, go back to your mouth beat. In fact, 
I'll just name this mouth beat foot box. Okay, so let's listen to this part. Okay, so that's that part. So let's go ahead and record something new. I'm going to give myself just a little, well, no. I'm just going to start right from the top. Who cares? Here we go. Okay, so <laughs> now I have this new audio, and again, we've got this nice kind of separation going on. Click on the top bar, Command U. Now, this is going to work. Just remember, when you're ever doing that uh, quantize function, you got to kind of set it up here, and you just go to Edit, Quantize Settings, and this is where you can choose how you want it to go. Now, remember, this is going to snap it to whatever uh, you have it set to. So if you have like some swing going on or some feel in your beat, you may not want to use quantize, but right now this is a, this is a straightforward thing. So here we go. I've got this quantize. All I do is I click on the top bar, right click, convert drums to new MIDI track, and it's going to make a new track again. Okay. And let's go ahead and listen to the result. I'm going to turn off track five, which is my mouth beat and just listen. This is like more of a sparse beat. It's kind of cool. And all I have to do now, since I've already made this kit, is drag and drop this top track down into some of the samples I've already loaded in. Now I can add my original fart box in there with the redux on it. cool it kind of adds like a little dusty almost vinyl-y kind of sound all right so i hope you guys are getting the workflow i'm gonna do this next mouth beat section well this is what the the track sound like okay uh i'm gonna go ahead and record a beat and this time we're gonna actually go through the process of replacing those stupid uh you know, stock samples with samples you want to use. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we go. Okay, that was pretty bad, but let's let's make sure the quantizer does its trick and take a listen. Take off the redux. I'm going to right click on it. Go down to convert drums to new MIDI track. Now remember, I still have this other one, so don't get confused. Every single time you do this, it creates a new track. Let's see how well this translated. Take a listen. Turn this one off. It's pretty cool. Now, I mean, look, listen to all the nuance we're getting. We're getting all these different parts. It, it, it captured pretty much everything I was trying to do. You know, I let the snare drop out, and I started the snare up here. Picks back up. Clubs here and there. So let's just go ahead and isolate a section of this beat. Maybe something early. Okay, so let's just uh, isolate this section just for simplicity's sake so I don't confuse anybody. And what we're going to do is, to, in order to replace these drums, it's good to see which ones are being hit. So I can see that this sample, this sample, and this sample, just watch, you see the little, right? I can see those are the samples that are being hit. So I'm just going to go to um, a sample library, drum samples. Uh, we'll do acoustic snares. I'm going to do a rim shot. Okay. 
Okay, rim five. Let's go ahead and use that. That'll be our snare drum, okay? Nice and tight. And let's get uh, the kick drum going. So, bass drum. I want something tight. <laughs> These are old. Okay, that'll work. Screw it. And then let's find a hat. Hat, 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 hat. Okay, so I found my hat. And now I replaced those three, just dragged and dropped them in there. Now, as you can hear. <laughs> Listen to the expressiveness going on here. All this is, is these samples are just, they're just getting different velocity information. And here's the beauty of it. Well, Anthony, I, I, I don't think I, I mouth beaded perfectly. Well, who cares? This is just a template, okay? You can go in here and, you know, some of these, some of these hi-hat hits I want to change. So maybe I'll just drag this over and make these straight or something. Like, you can go in here and edit this stuff. And maybe this kick drum hit was too loud pull it down a bit. I mean, the, the stuff is editable. This is just the fastest way to get the idea out of your head and into the into your song, okay? It's that simple. You're just dragging and dropping stuff in there, uh, the, the samples you actually want to use. And maybe you actually want to use the 606 kit. It's kind of generic. I don't recommend it. But now here's our different parts. We got... And we got this part... And then this is a different kit. And probably within 10 minutes, I have no idea how long this video has gone on for, but within 10 minutes, I've got my bass line uh, drum track, like like what I'm going to use to, as a springboard to start uh, producing. Like this is, this is essentially a very fast way for you to write songs and write beats. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, look forward to uh, seeing you next time. Like, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Later.